welcome back. Um, I'm going to refit the brake and clutch master cylinders today. Um, I've got a couple of new bits and pieces, well, bits and pieces. I've got, see if we can zoom in or see if we can focus. One moment. There we go. A couple of little R clips to uh, put. I took the um, clutch master cylinder off as well last week just to have a look at that, make sure it's all good. Um, I did that off camera. So I've got these R clips to replace the split pins that were in there before because split pins are easy enough to get in but a pain when you want to take them out next time. So Paul Jeffries had mentioned these to me some time ago before. So um, I got them ordered last week and then uh, on my last video Mark Piper commented, get some R clips. But I've already got them Mark. <laughs> So um, I'm going to get them to fitted back on today and uh, see if I've got time to get the brakes bled. I don't know if I've got time or space. I might need uh, a bit of daylight for that. But we'll see how we get on. We'll, uh, I'll make it all one video. So uh, we'll get on with it now and I'll shut up. Not sure how well you can see there, but I'm going to try and work from this side just to change up the camera angle a little bit. I'll just move the brake master cylinder out of the way. The clutch master cylinder is pretty much uh, back in place. I'm just going to drop it on and um, put the nuts on. There we go, that's that sat down in place. So those, uh, those two bolts are now tight in there so that is bolted down I'm just going to connect up the pipe on the top now and the clutch is ready to be bled well say it's ready to bled it's not really because I've still got to put the pin in the pedal I could do it with the uh, easy bleed kit but we'll get the clutch and mass brake mass cylinders on before we bleed anything Right, so we've got the brake, mass cylinder and clutch slave cylinder fitted back in the car. Um, I'm going to fit the clevis pins with my new little, uh, little R clips now. Um, what I think I'll do, I'm not going to be able to really get the camera in there to show you. Um, I'll see what I can come up with. Um, I've pinched my little video light off the camera. I like to use that inside the car to light up what I'm doing. So the plan is poke the two split pins in, the uh, clevis pins in, put the washer on, and hopefully use some needle nose pliers just to poke these in. So we'll see how that goes, and uh, I'll catch you in a few minutes. I'll try and show you once I've done it, maybe. Well, boys and girls, those um, R clips are fantastic. It took all the uh, struggle out of that job. With a pair of long nose pliers, let me just grab them. Got these pliers. There were some that, let me see if we can focus on them, move my fat face out of the way. There we go. There were a pair that my mum used to have in her jewellery making kit. Obviously, they're of no use to her anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, you grab the clevis pin with those, slot it in, grab a little washer, drop it on the end, and the R clip, dink, straight in. Brilliant idea, them R clips. Well chuffed. 
makes the job 10 times easier. So I've just got to bleed them now. I'm going to uh, start by just bleeding the clutch. That'll be a lot more straightforward and see if I can get around the brakes. Trying to hold the camera as steady as I can, my tripods are in the garage. I recorded the last bit of video for that one that uh, I did have problems with the mic, so there was no audio. Um, basically I went to, I started to bleed the brakes and it's quite late at night now, it's, it's, well, it's 10 o'clock now, it was an hour or so ago I was in the garage and uh, it was just getting a bit awkward, trying to be quiet with the door open to get under the back brakes, so I've decided I'm going to leave the bleeding the brakes for another day when I can get the wheels off and um, perhaps adjust the rear brakes up as well just make sure everything's okay so I'm not bleeding the brakes in this video I'll do it um, at some point soon I'm in no rush to use a car at the moment obviously still working on the house so um, the Mini's just going to sit there for the time being so that'll be it for this video and I'll see you again next time